One of the ways Sybil 3D manages the dynamic links between project data is through the use of data shortcuts. Generally speaking, data shortcuts allow drawings to share components like alignments, services, profiles, and pipe networks, rather than having to squeeze all that information into a single file. That being said, if a data shortcut link gets broken, it can affect every drawing in the project that depends on that link. So in this session, we are going to create and then break some data shortcuts so we can explore different ways to restore the connections. As you can see, I'm using Sybil 3D 2015. I have two drawings open in the interface. One is called Alignments. That's the file we see right here. In this file, I have an alignment called Road B, and I have another alignment called Road A. I also have a drawing open called Surfaces. Let me click the tab so we can see that. In this drawing, we have a tin called EG. Now, what I've done is I've created these two files. I've saved the drawings. I've also created a project. If I come over here on my Prospector tab, you can see I've got a project called 99905, and I've also created the data shortcuts for these. So you can see under surfaces, there's EG, and under the alignments, there's road A and B. So those are already in my project. Let me close both of these drawings, and I'm going to create a new drawing. We'll make that from my standard template. And then I'm going to save this. Let me click Save, and we'll save this inside the 99905 project. I'm going to call this Profile Exhibit, and I'll click Save. Now that I've saved the drawing, let's reference some of that data from the project. On the Prospector tab, I'll come over to Data Shortcuts, and underneath Surfaces, I'm going to right-click on that EG surface and choose Create Reference. I'll accept the defaults, and then I'll double-click the mouse wheel to do a zoom extents. We can see that surface referenced in the file. Let's do the same thing with the two alignments. I'll right-click, Create Reference, and click OK. Let's right-click on Road B, Create Reference and I'll click OK. Now that I've referenced that data, let's use it for something. I'm going to pull a couple of existing surface profiles. I'll do that by selecting the road A alignment first. I'll come up and choose surface profile. I'll click add, draw in profile view, create profile view, and I'll click to place the existing surface profile right over here. Let's do the same thing with road B. I'll select this, we'll create a profile, add, draw in profile view, create profile view, and we'll place Road B's profile right here. So let me save the drawing once again. So in this case, I have a nice exhibit drawing whose data is tied to the data from those other two drawings. Now let's take and break some of the data shortcuts and we'll look at how we can restore the connections. I'm going to start by closing my exhibits drawing and then I'll use the shortcuts here on the new tab to open the alignments file. This is the drawing that contains the alignments. If I hover over this middle alignment, we can see it's called Road A. Let's rename this. To rename the alignment, I'll select it, and then I'll come up to Alignment Properties. Here on the Information tab, we'll change this to Road AYE. I'll click OK, and we'll save the drawing, and then we'll close it. So I've renamed some data that I've created a link to. So let's see how that affects the exhibit drawing. Let me use the shortcut. We'll jump back into the profile exhibit. So far, so good. We can see the geometry. On the Prospector tab here, if I look under Alignments, under Centerline Alignments, all looks good, except let me right-click on this and I'll choose Synchronize. I want to synchronize the connection. When I do, you can see in Civil 3D 2015, it'll bring up a dialog box letting me know that the data shortcut name has changed. We can see the original name here, and we can see the current name. I'm going to come down and click Update the Reference Name, and we can see in the panorama that the data shortcut has been synchronized. Let me close the panorama. So we can see right here it's been corrected. Let me come down to the Data Shortcuts area for my project, and we can see it's been corrected here as well. Let me save this. Let's test it once. I'm going to select the alignment. I'll right-click, and I'll choose Open Source Drawing. This should take me right into that alignments file. So it's doing just what it should. Let me choose that alignments drawing. I'll click the alignment, and we'll shorten this up a little bit just for an example. Let me click Save. I'll close the drawing, and when we return to our exhibit, we can see that the file has changed. Let's synchronize and it updates nicely. So renaming the data shortcut isn't a problem. In fact, the software will notice that on its own. Let's try something else. I'm going to close this file. This time I'm going to open Windows Explorer, and let's navigate to the folder where the project data is stored. This time I'm going to take the alignments file and I'll rename it. We'll call this alignments old, and I'll press enter. I will then close Windows Explorer. Let's open the profile exhibit drawing and see what happens. In this case, things look okay. Let's come over and take a look under Prospector. If I open Alignments under Centerline Alignments, note the warning. That's because Civil 3D can't find this data shortcut anymore. The file where it lives no longer has the same name. To correct this, I will right-click on the data shortcut, and I'll choose Repair Broken References. Civil 3D will then let me select the file that contains the appropriate data. 
I'll choose alignments old. I'll click open. It will then say, hey, you know what? You have another one that's also broken. That's all right. We will repair all broken references. Looks like everything's good. I'm going to right click on road A and I'll choose synchronize. No warnings. Once again, we'll test this. I'll select the alignment and right click and I'll choose open source drawing. Let's make sure the alignments file is current on screen. I'll make a quick change to this and we'll save. We'll close the file. And then we'll use the synchronize option to update the exhibit. Once again, let's close the panorama. I'm going to close this drawing. We'll save changes. Everything's working well in this file. I'm going to reopen the alignments drawing and let's try something even more catastrophic. In this file, we have two alignments that are data shortcutted into the other drawing. This alignment's called Road A. Maybe I'd like to move this alignment into a completely different file. Can I do that and still maintain the dynamic link? Yes, I can. Let me show you how we can do that. I'm going to create a new drawing from my default template. As soon as this drawing comes up, I'll choose Save. I'm going to save this drawing in the project and I'll call this Road A Alignment. Maybe I'd like to have that alignment in its own file. Now that I've done the save, I'm going to pull down here under Prospector. In the Data Shortcuts area, I'll expand Alignments. I will right click on my Road A alignment and I'll choose Promote and I'll click OK. I will then double click the mouse wheel so we can see that data in the file. Generally speaking, I just copied that alignment into this drawing. Let's save the file. I will then close it. And then what we're going to do is edit the data shortcut so it points to the new drawing. I'm going to do that by closing Sybil 3D. And I apologize for my screen size here. You can't see my taskbar. I'm going to come down and click the Start button. And then under All Programs, I'm going to go to Autodesk, Civil 3D 2015. And inside this folder, there's an application called Data Shortcuts Editor. We can see that up on screen. With the Data Shortcuts Editor, we can edit those XML files that represent our data shortcuts. It just it gives us an interface to make those changes. I'm going to use the Open icon. I will then jump into the project folder, 99905. In this folder, I will select the Shortcuts folder, and I'll click OK. Right here, I can see a visual representation of those XML files. Currently, I'm viewing everything. I could sort these by selecting surfaces, or I could select alignments just to see those. If I selected an individual alignment, we can see that here. This area to the left is a lot like the Prospector tab in Civil 3D. With the Road A alignment selected, we can see the object name. If I ever wanted to rename it, I could do that here. Here's the path to the drawing. Here's the drawing name. I'm going to change that. I'll do that by clicking in the source file area. I'll get access to this text, and I'll call this Road A alignment, and I'll press Enter. I will then click in another field to get access to the save button right here, and I'll save. Now don't worry about mistyping the file name. If you make a mistake here and press enter to accept it, you'll see a warning pop up to let you know that the file name doesn't match. Let me remove that S, and I'll press enter. I'm going to do one more thing. In the Use to Match column, I'll open the menu and I'm going to choose Name Only. What I'm saying is, when you look in this drawing for this object, I want you to look based on the name, not on the handle, because this is a different object now. It's a new object in a different drawing. So only look based on the name. Once again, I'll click in an empty field here, and then I'll come up and click Save to save the XML file. I will then close the Data Shortcuts Editor, and we'll relaunch Sybil 3D. As soon as I get control of the application, here on the Prospector tab, I'm going to drag down to the Data Shortcuts area. This is still pointing to my current project. I will right-click and I'll choose Validate Data Shortcuts, just to see if I get any error messages. We can see validated three of three shortcuts. Let me open Alignments. You can see that everything looks good here. If I click Road A, we can see the source file name has changed for that. Road B is still the original file, so that looks good. A good rule of thumb, if you can make your corrections down here and make sure everything works, the drawings more or less will take care of themselves. Let's go to Open, and I'll open the Profile Exhibit again. Let's take a look on the Prospector tab under Alignments, Centerline Alignments, Road A. Let me right-click and I'll choose Synchronize. No warnings, everything looks good. Once again, we'll test this. If I select the alignment and right-click and choose Open Source Drawing, now it should open up that Road A alignment drawing, which it does. Let me choose that drawing. We'll make a quick change here. I'll just drag this over. Let's save. We'll close the file. And then I'll come down and choose Synchronize. Let's close the panorama and we'll try something else. I'm going to close my drawing. We'll save changes because everything's working well. Let's use the shortcut to go back into the Road A alignment file. And this time, let's say I'd like to go with some completely different geometry. I'm going to move up to the Draw toolbar and I'll launch the Polyline command. 
and I'll start my polyline at the end point here and I'm going to create a brand new alignment. Let's launch the alignment command. I'll say create alignment from objects. I'll select this one and press enter. I'll press enter one more time to accept the direction and as far as the name goes I'm going to keep the default for right now. Let's add curves between tangents and I'll click OK. So there's my new alignment. Let me click the alignment that I have. I'm going to go over to the properties palette and I'm lazy, I'm going to steal the name here. I'm going to right click and choose copy. We'll copy that name to the clipboard. I will then select this alignment and delete it. I will then select the alignment I just made and under alignment properties in the name field I'll right click and paste. I'll click OK. I will save the drawing and I'll close this. And because of the changes we made in the data shortcut editor, this should make no difference. If I open the profile exhibit, Civil 3D is only looking for the name of that alignment, not for the handle. So when I open my exhibit, I can see that I'm using the latest version of the alignment and that alignment is updated over here in the profile. Finally, let's do one more thing. I'm going to close my exhibit. I'll save changes. Let's go back into the road A alignment drawing and we'll do the unthinkable. I'll select this alignment, I'll press delete, and then I'll click save. It's gone. Let's close the file. I'll go back to the profile exhibit. Notice that we still have a copy in this file. In the event I go to prospector under alignments, under center line alignments, we can see the original name here. However, Civil 3D can't find this object. In the event someone deletes a data shortcutted object, you can recreate it from one of the existing drawings. There's a few ways to do this. I'm going to do it using Land XML. I'll come up and choose Output, Export to Land XML. I'll choose Pick from Drawing, and I'll select this alignment and right click. I will then click OK, and I'm going to save this in the 99905 project, and I'll call this Road A XML. I will then close this drawing. I'm not going to save changes because everything's not good yet. Let's go back to the Road A alignment file. Now if somebody deleted this drawing altogether, you could just create a new drawing called Road A. Since I still have the file, I'm going to work in this one. I'm going to choose Insert, Land XML. Let's go to the project. I'll choose the Road A Alignment XML file. I'll click OK. There it is. Let's hover. We can see the name is good. Let me save this. I'll close the drawing. We'll go back to our profile exhibit. Once again, because our data shortcut editor says that we are only looking for the alignment name, this should work just fine. Over under Prospector, let me open up Alignments, Center Line Alignments. There's Road A. There's no warning. That's good. Let me right click and I'll choose Synchronize. Everything looks good. Let me close the panorama. One more test. I'm going to select this alignment. I'll right click and I'll choose Open Source Drawing. This takes me to the new alignment that I made in the Road A file. Let's make a significant change here. I'm going to select this. I'll bring up the geometry editor and then I'll just use the delete object button and I'll take some of these off. That'll work for now. Let's close this. We'll click Save. I'll close Road A alignment which returns me to my exhibit. We'll zoom out and I'll click Synchronize. So in the big scheme of things repairing data shortcuts isn't something you'll need to do very often. That being said, you never know when someone on the project team may copy, rename, or erase something they shouldn't have. Using some good file maintenance techniques along with the data shortcut editor, you should be able to repair or restore just about any data reference that has gone missing.